My name is Tony Hawk. I'm a professional skateboarder for a long time. It's hard to pinpoint my favorite drink, but I would say if I'm going to actually have an adult drink, then it would be an old fashioned, not too bitter, savory, with really good whiskey. That's my go to. But if it's in the middle of the day, nothing beats a Coke. Just one bottle of Coca Cola is always like a treat in my day. I know the time of day by whether I'm drinking coffee, water, Coke, or whiskey. Wow, do I cook meals at home? I don't cook meals at home, but the one thing I do make if I'm in a rush, I will make an open-faced either turkey or tuna salad sandwich with provolone cheese, avocado, and mustard if it's turkey. That's it. I try to avoid bread these days. My favorite place I've ever traveled to that's not for skating is Iceland. It's amazing. The landscape changes every five or ten miles. I mean, it feels like at one time you're on the moon and then you're in the desert and then you're in lush forest. It's crazy. It's really amazing there. Without being painfully obvious, my favorite piece of gear is my skateboard because it's gotten me this far in life. It's allowed me to do so many things beyond just skating itself, and it's still what gives me the most enjoyment in terms of physical activity, and so uh, I am rarely without it. In fact, you're catching a, a very <laughs> rare moment right now without me having it next to me. Some people think I, I carry it around because somehow I want to get recognized. That is not the case, I assure you. I mostly carry it, especially on planes, because if I check it in and it doesn't arrive when I get there, that's a big problem, because it's very customized. So that's why you see me carry my scoop on planes all the time. The one good piece of advice that I received was to stay the course, do what you love, even if it's not the most financially rewarding, because you're going to love what you do. You're going to love what you do for a living. And that's far more important than doing a job you hate just because it's lucrative, I think. And I've done what I do for many years without any compensation. And I would gladly do it now without any compensation. It just happens that now I make a ridiculous living doing it. <laughs> and I'm very, I know I'm very lucky in that. I don't take that for granted. But at the same time, even if it's not the most lucrative option, it's going to be the most fun and that's what you're going to enjoy. And sometimes you need to learn other aspects of what you do. Because if you're in an industry or you're in some sort of sport or art form, learn all the other aspects of it because that's going to benefit you in the end. That's going to give you a head up and an advantage over anyone else that's doing it and maybe you'll like some other thing about it that, that you didn't even realize. I mean, some people get into skating because they love skating and suddenly they realize they're way better at documenting skating and they make a great living doing that and they love what they do. So I'm saying just, just be open to other options in your world.